Hi guys, today's workout is a 25 minute full body dumbbell workout. I just used one pair of dumbbells, they were pretty light, 8 pounds, and that was perfectly fine for me. A lot of these exercises are very cardio based, so you don't need super heavy weights. We have four exercises that we're going to do for three rounds each. They're going to be 90 seconds on with a 30 second rest. And then at the end we'll do 30 seconds of each exercise back to back to burn out. 25 minutes total, grab those dumbbells and let's get started. Our first exercise is pretty complex to start off with. It's four parts. So we're going to start with a plank row, then do a hip dip, then a jumping V, and then a push up. We're going to cycle through these four exercises, so if you can, keep your hands on your dumbbells the whole time. Or if that starts to hurt your hand, you can bring them down to the ground and just hold on to the dumbbells while you're doing the rows. Make sure you're staying in a straight plank position, everything in line from head to toe, with your tailbone tucked, your rib cage tucked, and your abs tight, keeping your lower back high. Abs are squeezing the whole time so that your lower back doesn't sag toward the ground. In the push-up, keep your elbows at a 45 degree angle to your body and keep space between your shoulder blades. Head back, looking forward as you go down and up. During the jumping V, whenever I jump back into the plank position, I like to bend my knees a little bit. That helps absorb the impact so that it's not as tough on your lower back. It just makes it easier to keep your lower back straight that way, which is important for safety. Row all the way up to your rib cage. This one's all in the upper body. You got this, just keep it up for a little bit longer. You're doing a really good job, keep it up. Great job, take a 30 second rest. Our second exercise is going to be lower body based, so your upper body can get a nice rest here. So for our second exercise, we're moving into an around the world lunge. You're gonna hold the weights by your sides and starting all on one leg, lunging forward, lunging to the side, and then doing a curtsy lunge, bringing that leg around behind the other. And then do the same thing on the other side. Here we go, big step forward, getting that back knee to the ground, keep your nose over your toes, most of your weight in that front leg, same thing to the side, and then bring that leg back behind the other, hips stay square for the curtsy lunge, knee to the ground, other side, big step forward, big step to the side, dumbbells on either side of your knee, and then around to the back, keep going. For the side lunge especially, make sure you're keeping your weight centered in the middle of your foot or even back towards the heel. That's going to put a lot less pressure on your knee. Good job. Keep your back flat, shoulders down and back. You're doing a great job. We're almost done with this one. Just give it a few more seconds. And coming to our second rest. 30 more seconds. Great job. Get a sip of water, then we'll move into our third exercise. The third exercise is a combination burpee, bent over row, clean, and squat press. Get ready. Going down into a push-up position. If you can, do the push-up. If it's too tough, you can do it from your knees, or you can just skip it all together. Jump back and make sure your back is flat as you row up to your rib cage, elbows to the ceiling. And then use the power in your glutes to explosively pull the dumbbells up 
to shoulder level, squatting and pressing them straight overhead, arms right by the sides of your face. Down and do a push up, then row, clean, and press. Try to pace your breathing in this. This is a complex movement. So take deep breaths in and out. Push up, make sure your back is flat, row, squeeze your glutes, clean, squat, and press. Rib cage tucked when you're pressing overhead. Doing great, keep going. You just have a few more seconds. And rest, beautiful, awesome job with that one. That one was so complex, so difficult, especially just to keep the breathing right. Take a rest here. Our final exercise in this set is going to be lunge pulses. You're gonna use your weights for this, so just hold them by your sides. And we're gonna get into a nice wide lunge position Go all the way down so your knee touches the ground and then just halfway up, keeping your front leg bent. Get ready. And here we go. We're doing 45 seconds on each side. I'll let you know when to switch. Keep your nose over your toes, a nice flat back, shoulders back and down. Most of your weight stays in that front leg, going all the way down to the ground and just halfway back up. I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie that I die I, I know it burns, but you're doing great. Keep it up for a few more seconds. We're about to switch sides. Great job, go ahead and switch straight into the other side for 45 seconds. So a nice wide lunge, all of the weight in that front leg, so keep your nose over your toes. You should be able to look down and see your knee and see your toes past your knee. That'll ensure that your knee isn't going too far past your toes and that you're keeping your weight centered over that front foot. Back knee comes down to the ground and then you're just lifting halfway up. The second side is always going to burn a little bit more because your legs are already tired from the first side. Even though your weight is centered in that front leg, you're using both legs for this. But you got this, just keep it up for a little bit longer. Keep breathing, keep pushing. Almost done with this side. Great job, relax for 30 and then we're going to start this set back from the beginning with the plank row. All right, we're gonna get back into our plank row, hip dip, jumping V, push up combo. Do it with either your hands on the dumbbells or on the ground, right next to them. Row up to your rib cage, one row on each side, then do a hip dip, get your hips as close to the ground as you can, and then back into a plank position, then other side. Jump your feet up and to the side as close to your hands as you can and then keep your knees bent when you're jumping back into a plank. Elbows at a 45 degree angle, maintaining that plank position. Push the ground away from you, space between your shoulder blades. Looking forward. Good job, keep going.
almost done with this one. You're doing so good. Keep it up. Good job with that rest, and then we'll get back into our around the world lunge. Getting back into our second exercise, the around the world lunge. Here we go. So stepping forward, knee to the ground, back flat, then out to the side, dumbbells on either side of your knee, weight in the middle of your foot or even back towards the heel a little bit. And then curtsy lunge, knee to the ground, hips square, other side. Great job, done with round two of that. Let's take another 30 second rest. All right, get those dumbbells ready. We're going back into our burpee, bent over row, clean squat press combo. Back into a push-up, maintain perfect plank form, jump forward, flat back as you row up, bend your knees and use your glutes, pull those dumbbells up to your shoulders, squat and press overhead, arms by your ears. Keep your back flat the entire time. Don't let it round when you're jumping back or forward from the plank position, and don't let it flex in the push-up or when you're doing the overhead press. For the entirety of this exercise, keep your rib cage tucked, Keep your abs super tight so your lower back stays in line and keep your hips in line. Keep it up, you're doing great so far. Also remember if the push-up is too difficult, try it from your knees or you can just skip it all together. Almost done with round two of this one. Keep it up for five. And rest. Awesome job. That one is exhausting. 30 second rest. We're gonna get back into our lunge pulse. 45 seconds on each side, get ready. Here we go, weight centered over that front leg, nose over your toes, all the way down, halfway up. Pulsing for 45, I'll let you know when to switch. Save me, I'm a mess 
Keep pushing, keep pushing, you are almost there. Great job, other leg in front, same thing on this side. Just 45 more seconds and then we'll rest. Feel the burn, you're doing so good. Keep it up, you're almost done with round two. And rest, amazing. 30 seconds and then we'll get back into our plank row combo. That's all upper body, so your legs will have a little bit more of a rest. Moving into our last full round of plank row, hip dip, jumping V, and push up. Here we go, doing one row up on each side, hand to your rib cage, elbow to the sky, hip dip, jumping V, get your feet as close to your hands as you can, out to the side, bending your knees as you jump back into a plank, keeping your back flat. And then push up with your elbows at a 45 degree angle, space between the shoulder blades, looking forward. If you can't do the push up from your feet or if it gets too difficult at any point, just go down to your knees and do it from there. That's perfectly fine. Hip dip, getting your hips as low as you can to either side. Try to get them to the ground and then back into a perfectly flat plank position. Keep going, you're doing great. Almost done with our last full round of plank row, hip dip, jumping V, push up, keep it up for just a few more seconds. Great job, way to push through that. Take another 30 second rest, then we'll get into our last full set of the Around the World Lunge, coming up soon. All right, get ready for our last full round of the Around the World Lunge. Lunging forward, knee to the ground, back flat. Then out to the side with the weight in the middle of your foot. Get those hips as low to the ground as you can. Then bring that same foot around behind the other. Hips square, knee to the ground for the curtsy lunge. Other side, forward. Big step, shoulders back and down. Out to the side. Hips low, all the weight in that bent leg. Then bring that same leg around to the back and curtsy. Good job, keep going. Almost done with this one, just a few more seconds. This is our last full round. You got this, keep it up. Four, five. Awesome job, you're done with that. Rest, and then we'll be getting into our last set of our burpee combo.
Okay, getting into our final set of the burpee combo. Get ready. Here we go, down into a push-up, flat back, bent over row. Use your glutes, clean, and press overhead. Rib cage tucked. This is our last full set of this burpee combo. Stay strong and try to pace your breathing. Deep breaths in, deep breaths out. Make sure you're keeping your back flat, everything in line. You're doing an awesome job and you just have a few more seconds. Then we'll rest after this, so keep it up, here we go. And rest, amazing. Another 30 seconds, then we'll get into our last lunge pulse and then finish off with our burnout. All right, get ready for our last set of lunge pulses. Here we go, all the way down, halfway up. This is our last full set of this. I know it burns, but you're almost finished, so keep going, don't stop now. Almost done with this side, you are unstoppable. Keep going, just a few more seconds and then we'll switch. And go ahead and do the other side. Great job with that side. Just 45 more seconds. Keep your shoulders down and back, a flat back. Make sure your nose is over your toes and stay strong. You're almost done. We're about to take our last 30 second rest. Keep pushing, you got this. Amazing, so we're resting for 30 and then we just have our burnout set left. So we're gonna do each exercise back to back. So no rest in between for 30 seconds each. Get a sip of water and get ready. All right, now it's time for our 30 second burnout. So we're gonna start with the plank row combo and then we're gonna go straight into the next exercise after that. Here we go. Plank row. Hip dip. Jumping V. Push up, good job, again. Just a few of these, just for 30 seconds this time. This is the last 30 seconds of this. Don't stop now, you're almost done. A few more seconds, then going straight into our around the world lunge. Great job, stand up, lunge forward, out to the side, and then behind, and then other leg. Just a couple of these.
Next, we're moving into our burpee combo. Get ready. And hands come down to the ground, back into a push-up. Hop forward, flat back, row, clean, squat, and press. Good, again. Almost done, and then we'll just finish off with 15 seconds of lunge pulses on either side. Get ready for those. All right, get into a nice wide lunge and pulse all the way down, halfway up, nose over your toes, just 15 seconds on each side. You're at the very end. You're almost finished there. Great job. Switch sides. Last 15 seconds. Here we go. All the way down, halfway up. Keep going, keep pushing. Keep it up for five, four, three, two, and one. That's it, awesome job. Way to push through, that was 25 minutes. I know a lot of those exercises were tough. There was a lot of combinations there, but great job, you did it. If you wanna see more exercises like this, please subscribe to my channel, smash that like button, and thank you for joining me today. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.